with the release of our campaign platform, the Canadian Chamber of Commerce is trying to put some key business issues back into this election campaign debate. In this campaign, we've seen politicians putting the interests of families against that of Canadian business. But we know that that's a false comparison. There is no successful strategy for Canadian, business, for Canadian families that doesn't involve business success. When Canadians are competing successfully, they're investing, they're creating new jobs, they're paying taxes. Governments receive the funds they need to strengthen our social programs. When the opposite is true, when they're falling behind, they're not competitive, well then social programs become starved for funds just when we need them the most. At the Canadian Chamber, we think people are being distracted from some of these key issues in this campaign. So our, our campaign platform is very to the point, very short. We're asking politicians to address just a handful of key factors. What is our level of tax and what should it be? What's our level of debt? What are we doing about stimulating innovation? What are our environmental strategies? What are we doing about small business? One issue that we do hear debated rather fiercely in this campaign is one of the business taxes. And the Canadian Chamber never stops reminding politicians that taxes kill jobs and they drive away investment. When taxes are low, it frees up money for people to use. What do they do with their money? They spend it. They invest it. They chase opportunities. They build businesses. Over the last 12 years, Canadian governments of different stripes have cut taxes from 28% down to 16.5%. And what happened to government revenues? They rose. They rose because when business has money, it uses that money to grow and to create more jobs and buy more equipment. Canadians are like that. Businesses are exactly the same. With a platform document, we're asking politicians to address a key question. What is your party proposing that will make Canada more prosperous?